Gideon, what happened to Ray? According to public record, Mr. Palmer died in 1988. Four, yeah, phone home. Wait, Ray's dead? This is our chance to go back and to meet Ray Palmer when he was a 10-year-old kid and to sort of understand like what made the man that, w that we know as, as the Adam. Or in 1988, the day before you disappeared. Okay, well, I guess the fact that I'm still here means temporal permanence hasn't set in, which means we can still save my life and enjoy 1988 while we're at it. This is a time machine. This is amazing. Blue skies, smiling kids, an actual white picket fence. For her, she's from this horrible future where metas are persecuted, religion is illegal, her family was split up, her brother was murdered, and she, and she cannot stand like Ray's cheery optimism of like, everything's gonna work out, it's great. She's like, of course that's how you feel. You've never encountered hardship. Guys, I think I know what kills me. He finds an anachronism, and that anachronism to him looks like a, an adorable little E.T. Hi, what's your name? What we'll realize is that that, that little E.T. is destined to grow up and be a dominator. They're nasty too, capable of telepathy, advanced technology, and the fun one, tearing people limb from limb. And now little me kidnapped one and is treating it like a house pet. So we have to get the baby dominator out of Ray's bedroom and back to where it belongs. Uh, Spoiler alert, doesn't go well. Like stealing candy from a baby. But not this fun. 